So as a quick review, using the ICFs saves me a lot of concrete cost, about 50%. My savings and what I don't spend on concrete goes to buying the ICFs. You see the stirrups do a nice job holding things in place. All of this wood decking has to be raised up to a specific height. All right, friends, you can see that I made a temporary mock-up of how I'm going to put a roof on the root cellar, which is also going to be the floor of the greenhouse. I'm using the build deck system to build the roof for the root cellar. I used the build block system to build the walls. And build block offers build deck to span distances to create ceilings and floors that allow you to span great distances using the least amount of concrete required. So in my case, my project requires an eight inch build deck. This is eight inches here. And these are roughly two foot by two foot pieces that plug together like giant Lego blocks. And how this works is the build deck span system it creates these I-beams, and with the heavy-duty rebar, you can span great distances with the build deck system. You get the insulating factor of eight inches of insulation with a four-inch cap of concrete, and you get your strength through these I-beams here. This all fills up full of concrete in here, and it'll create one monolithic piece. The wall will be one monolithic piece with the ceiling. To create these I-beams, you need these stirrups shaped in the letter S to help hold the lower rebar. You can see the stirrups do a nice job holding things in place. I'm using uh, bricks for my rebar chairs. Bricks have a very high compressive strength and work well for this. Once I put it all together, I use tie wire in places to hold things so they don't move, tying all joints together so nothing moves when the concrete starts to splash. These tie-in pieces tie in the wall section to the deck section using a continuous piece as code requires a continuous piece for this. Notice how I'm using roughly a 12 inch by 12 inch grid and the end pieces of my grid protrude into the wall at least minimum three inches. So as a quick review, using the ICFs saves me a lot of concrete cost, about 50%. I, my savings and what I don't spend on concrete goes to buying the ICFs. And when it's all done, I have the insulating value of the ICFs in the ceiling of the root cellar. I opened up and removed a couple of the plywood decking so things could air out down there. We've been having some rain and I wanted uh, the, uh, the root cellar to get a chance to breathe down there and air out. So let's go down and see what it looks like down there now that we've passed the winter and uh, we're in late spring right now. Oh yeah. Well, I can see things have dried out real good. It's about 82, 83 degrees outside. I can feel a difference. It's definitely cooler down here. It's definitely cooler. And that floor is cold. It looks like I got some onions growing over there. I put those in there last fall. Yeah, these are onions. I should probably get those out of here. So to review, all of this wood decking has to be raised up to a specific height, and I'll probably triple the amount of vertical supports, and that will uh, be sufficient to hold the uh, concrete up on top. As you can see, the wood frame over here in the doorway, that's the door buck.
It's wood frame, is built to the specification of the actual door that's going to go in there. So once all the concrete is poured, this wooden structure will be removed and then the door will be able to fit in there. Yeah, looks good. Looks very good. All right, friends, I mentioned it was late spring and the reason I haven't really jumped on this root cellar project is I'm putting in a 160 foot long retaining wall that's about five foot tall. Now the guy's supposed to come out in another week or two, so uh, I cut in the edge and I kind of been focusing on that, but uh, I'm just about done with that and he can take it from this point on. So I'm ready to get started on this uh, root cellar project. The other thing I need to be doing is thinking about the stairs, getting the stairs figured out. So there's definitely a lot more work to do. Once again, this is Steve from Pure Michigan Living. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.